So now I made this little um, somatic, I guess that's the word. Well, I painted it as uh, seams, how it looks like what we have here on Earth, and I'm going to do it for myself now, and probably then for someone else. So that's the first thing that I painted, and, and I didn't do any corrections now. So here is very simple uh, picture. That's the personality. That's essence, which is also unique flame. And that's, that's layer, the source. Personality. Uh, essence and source. Now, that's a uh, more detailed look at what personality looks like. So, that's the personality. And this is this small piece is logical mind that's the layer the majority of people live on logical mind now personality logical mind logical mind is a small part of what truly personality is personality that's the personality word personality is a small part of what essence is and essence is a small part of what source is. Yeah. So, that's what personality consists of. Personality has logical mind layer, physical family layer, social layer, collective layer, and past life layer, and of course, unique flame essence. So, um, Physical family layer is programs of physical family of this personality. Um, by programs, I mean ideas and beliefs that this physical family has been choosing for the whole life and probably still choose. That's the beliefs and ideas of this particular physical family. Social layer, it, um, it consists itself, it consists of physical family layers. I'm going to dive into that um, later, but let's say that that's what society is, okay? So all the ideas and beliefs that society has. Collective layer is um, like summary of social layer, physical family layers. It's like <laughs> collective layer is like um, zoomed logical mind layer. Past lives baggage. That's the um, all the programs, ideas, and beliefs that this personality brought from past lives. Unique flame essence is something that is just, you know, it speaks for itself. Essence, okay? So, now I painted this thing. So, eternity. Here's the source. Here's personality. And somewhere right here in the middle is unique flame essence. So, and as you can see, it's the one, one figure, but it's like two parts of it. That's the source, that's personality, that's the narrow part, that's the ex ex um, expanded part. Unique flame is something that connects, it's like the gift of the source, it's like its um, expression. Um, if we put this the same figure into the focus into the different position, we'll see that that's the source, that's personality, the same thing, right? Unique flame. So that's don't pay attention to that. So the more personality is open for the source, the more it can place 
it's in herself, himself, just in itself, let's say. <laughs> so that's that's how it looks like. Personality consciously is open for the source. Symbol birth channel. That's the same thing. When it opens, that exact same thing happens. Expansion. So the more personality is open for the source, the more it can place in itself. The point of physical life is to work with all the layers to recognize yourself as a source and as a personality, which is the source, paradox, and to let it come in personality consciously. For that, come through physical family layer. Uh, let's call it um, inner or indoors inner conditions or indoors, social layer, outdoors or outer conditions, collective layer, which indoors and outdoors both, and also reasons and effects, because indoors and outdoors, indoors is reasons and outdoors is effects. So literally, all the crimes, everything is outdoors, so it's consequence. Indoors is the reason. So for example, um, a kid was... Um, raped right by someone so that's the indoor that's the reason outer probably this kid is going to harm someone outside outdoors that's the crime so what's the reason of the crime this kid was uh, suffering indoors so outdoors it's the same it's the consequence and then through the past life's baggage layer then personality, after working with all these layers, it, uh, personality works with past life baggage layer. And then, being the unique essence localized in this personality, consciously become one with the source. So we are already one, like personality and the source are already one, but here we have consciously, like personality has to consciously become one with the source. Um, and that's the mark, that's the note. Social, physical, and collective layers are not broken in this case. They are transformed. They are transformed in this particular personality, and so they are transformed um, in different... Uh, they are transformed... Like, personality doesn't break them, doesn't fight with them. It literally just uh, <laughs> lives through them. Uh, so... That's another personality, direct connection, always with the source, right? Uh, that's physical family layer, that's social layer, collective layer, and past life baggage. That's just another, uh, another drawing uh, from another perspective of so past life baggage. But, so that's how it goes. That's the bottom line. Personality and the source... They have direct connection always, but that's what happens in low states. So personality, connection with the source, and that's the unique flame. So literally, personality always in a normal high state, personality has um, connection with unique flame of because that's the essence and with the source. But in all state, that's what we have. Collective layer, uh, where is our social layer, uh, physical family layer. And uh, this very important uh, connection with the source and with the um, unique flame switched off. It's off. So in low state, personality only has access to four layers physical family social collective and past life baggage all suicides are made from this state and all crimes too so personality physical family layer on that's how it looks like um past life layer on collective layer on social layer on but unique flame off and unique flame, that's the layer of personality that always has the connection 
with the source and it's off then high state actually is that's how it looks like in high state personality physical social collective feeling flame and um, past lives baggage they all are on all of them so in that unique flame layer it's on so connection to the source here it is here it is and this connection to the source people uh, like personalities who live uh, in this state always they try to compensate uh, absence of connection a hey, focus connection to the source they try to compensate it by all types of crimes all types of um, harms all types of uh, they they basically they live on logical mind level we're going to speak about that later so focus so personality who is cut off who is being cut off from the source is dying suffocating in all four layers left physical family social collective and past life all the reasons of physical mental and e-mental e-mental that's the uh, term from the book um, year 2150 AD well it's just literally it's both mental and emotional so all the reasons of physical mental e-mental diseases are right here because personality is being cut off from the source it's literally dying suffocating and um so here we have uh oh that's a little under explaining what it is so personality and here's physical family so yeah that's the programs programs of parents relatives programs ideas and beliefs that these people used to have or have and um personality while growing up um as i somewhere um painted before it's indoors indoors it's um inner conditions mm, so personality is underneath the influence of this physical uh, physical family layer which is beliefs and ideas and social layer literally social layer is formed by physical family layer that's the summary of all physical families literally collective layer is summary of all the social layers so uh, physical um a social layer will be um, um, programs, so ideas and beliefs of all the physical families of the planet Earth, and collective co uh, layer will be summary of all the programs, uh, meaning ideas and beliefs of all social, like, um, well, let's say, of just of society, right? And what I wrote here. Uh, yeah, and so if we're going to look back from collective layer through social, physical, we're going to come to personality. Personality. And why it's so important. Let me show you here. So when personality decides to choose not the physical social collective, but their own paths, they change collective. Um, they, uh, I'm using here they because, so I wouldn't say her or him. I would say it, but personality is not exactly it. <laughs> so. Um, and uh, here in society, there's just, you know, uh, we can follow either these layers, physical, social, collective, or our own, which is uh, absolutely connected with um, unique flame. So collective is changed by personal choices, by personal. Collective is changed by personal. Personal choices matter. They impact the whole collective plus the universe, plus all possible universes as, and here's another uh, painting, so here it is, it's not a painting, it's a scratch, <laughs> or how you call it, I forget, anyway, collective layer of Earth, collective layer of Milky Way galaxy, collective of other galaxies relative to ours, then collective of the universe, and then collective of other universes, collective of all possible universes 
uh, because that's all is holographic universe so if one part changes the whole changes as well now I painted something very interesting so that's what death is so let's look at it that's personality our layer right that's what I was speaking that's our physical layer that's social that's collective that's what happens look Look, look, look. Personality will also can call ego. It's an identificator, let's say. So, and unique flame will also can call individual, individuality. But uh, I'm not going to confuse you here. So, look, what's going on? We come from personal level, personality. Go through physical, social, collective layers. And here, that's what death is. Look, what's happening here. It's literally coming out of personality it's like birth back let's say and that's death look what happens next it's expanding and literally coming back to that part of their eternity sign that's the universe and that's the source that's don't pay attention that's just <laughs> so it's just my scratch is draft i just decided to share it right now so here we go expanding now, look, that's uh, how birth looks like. Source, personality. From expanded to narrow. Source is expanded consciousness. Personality is narrow consciousness. Birth, again, we see the birth channel, like symbol, right? Is open, so we literally go right here. Movement from up to down. That's what death is. Personality, source, again. That's death. From narrow to expand it. Again, this channel is open. Movement is up. Is from down, up, you see? So. Okay. Here I, uh, here I showed three main principles of the source, which are love, freedom, and expression. Now, that's how these principles go to, they go, you see, to galaxy. Uh, they literally, these principles, go from the source through universes to galaxies to the planets. Now, we're going to look at, now it's, uh, it's just like zooming, zooming. So, that's with zooming. That's the galaxy layer, right? That's the planet layer, and that's the collective layer. Okay, and the more of distortions have, the more of distortions collective layer has, the less these three principles of the source are being manifested. That's so. That's how it looks like. Three three principles which are love, expression, freedom. They are coming from the source here's collective layer and we know uh, yeah so here we go the principles collective layer you see they come in here but there is distortion on collective layer so it's already distorted social layer again distortion uh, physical family layer again distortion and personality too distortion distortion oh and that's it I cannot believe that's it. Okay. So literally, that's how it looks like. So all these distortions, they... Um, so uh, as you remember, personality has this unique flame layer. This layer has um, direct, um, all the time, present connection to the source. But low state is actually distortion itself. But here's duality. I, I haven't, you know, painted everything now because a lot of things I want to explain. But anyway, these three principles, love, freedom and expression, they come into the world like uh, like ours, for example, and they've been really distorted. So a lot of uh, people, they think that freedom means they can kill someone. They forget about other principle love. Love doesn't kill, it loves. And expression. If you express yourself, 
you don't want to kill someone. And someone can say, what if my expression is killing someone? No, because you forget about love principle. You express yourself, but you love, and you're free. Okay? That's how it goes. If one of these components is missing, which we have here on Earth, everywhere, everywhere, because distortions, because of collective um, layer distortion, and because of social layer distortion, because of physical layer distortion, because of the personality distortions. If we have these distortions, then these three principles are being understood in a wrong way, or just misunderstood or misperceived. So, um, yeah, so uh, somewhere I showed you that um, logical mind is the small part of what personality is. So, uh, okay, that's the, that's the logical mind. That's I that's the logical mind level layer. That's personality. So really really small part. So when you die, first thing that happens, you come out of your logical mind level and then you come out of all the rest. Uh so logical mind is a kid of social world. So um it also I guess just has uh basic functions like save us blah 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 but that's really really small part and it's it's very linear and it's very based on survival it's based on competition it's based on mm, fear and pain so that's not who we truly are because we are source and the point is to bring the source right here so if creatures live on this layer Logical mind. So they see really small parts. So they literally see like this. And that's what is available to them. That's what they see. If they use the whole personality, they see, of course, much more. You see? That's what they see. That's what they see. They see more. Already more than just this real piece. But if they, for example, look from, let's say, probably from the galaxy level, they see much more. If they look from the source level, this they see much more, right? So, let's say as I see it for now, the point is uh, to step out of logical mind layer and to consciously surrender to this process which is first death and then which is going to be uh, expanding where this little picture mm, open personality open personality so to this state so the source can pour into the personality. The personality can be the physical manifestation of the source here on Earth in terms of duality. And then these terms will be transformed as well. Not by violence, not by fixing the outdoors, but by transforming indoors. And um, to this process, we have to surrender to this, the personality has to surrender to this process. And let's say that if personality doesn't do this work that I described and give birth, then the process is going to be multiplied um, it, like eternally, unless someone is going to do the work, but the baggage is going to be growing because of all the listed. Um, so literally, if you like if personality um, invites another personality <laughs> so it means that this personality either understands all that I described and just decides to change it it's, it's really 
ready for it, it's already physical manifestation of the source, or this personality doesn't understand it, and so it literally um, multiplies the chain of suffering because of the listed reason, because personality who is being cut off from the source is dying suffocating. That's why. And personality who gives birth without realis realizing all of this literally gives um, her heritage, I guess that's the word, well, the baggage, the luggage, gives this uh, so-called gift to their child. And child is going to get the exact same thing and exact same distortions and has to do the exact same work, probably even more. So it happens unless someone is finally waking up. And on a physical layer, like in casual life, it's it's been expressed, it's been manifested like all the distortions. They're being manifested like you have this everlasting circles of situations you are sick and tired of, but they continue happening. And you scream, what the fuck? I just I'm tired of this shit. What what's wrong with me? Or you know, you have the situation and you think why the exact same thing happens to me all the time so that's how it has how that's how it goes <sighs> that's the distortions because of the distortion that I described right here because source cannot these three principles of the source which are love freedom and expression they cannot they cannot come into the physical world, to earth, you know, <laughs> clearly. They cannot, because all these layers are distorted too. Personality, when it starts to work with itself, I'm using it, but it literally it's a person, but when personality starts to work with itself, then all these layers have, are being transformed so collective is being changed by personal because one part impacts the whole. And that's how these three principles of the source, which are love, freedom and expression, can come into this world more. And the more personalities are going to do this work, uh, the more these three principles can come into this earth and the more uh, personalities are going to experience high states that I described somewhere here that are going to be, yeah, high state. They have connection to the source all the time from the unique flame layer and they are going to be, they, they won't have this wish to kill someone or to harm someone because of the connection to the source. Uh, and the less of the low states are going to happen, the less of suicides and crimes are going to happen. Connection to the source, that's another topic, but let's say that when you feel connected to the source, you do not question your worth, because source doesn't question its worth, it exists. So that's the statement, I do exist. And by this statement, you also presume that you are not personality. Personality is just a small part of what essence is, and essence is a small part of sources. And so... Literally, uh, that's how it goes, okay? By inner transformation. I, I haven't found any other way by observing my life or other people's lives and having all these insights, experience in low state. I, I correctly can say that. That's how it really goes. And because of the distortions of this world, when someone dies, which means they come to the source level, uh, being distorted, personality is grieving. Uh, because of all these uh, layers, social, physical, family layer, that are filled in with all these ideas and beliefs about death. They think that death is death, that nothing... Not going to see this creature anymore. Surely, they're not going to see this creature 
in this body but what body is that's a, that's a whole another story literally body is just a leaf autumn leaf now let's say that body is not an autumn leaf it's just oh what i'm what i'm painting here <laughs> so that's the leaf okay <coughs> and that's the leaf and that's the body it has its own intellect Yes, it has. Also has all the layers that are listed. Collective, physical, family, layer, past life's package. All has. Unique claim is being, uh, is, being, uh, replay, uh, is being placed in each and every cell of the physical body. But when uh, death that I described uh, earlier occurs, this unique flame leaves the the body and so there's just the leaf is left like right autumn leaf which uh, becomes um, ashes or dust but it doesn't mean that this like for example we have a relative that this relative dies and we think oh when are we going to see this relative like this surely because the body of this relative becomes dust but it doesn't mean that actually a relative is personality. Personality is just an idea, okay? It's just um, it's information and energy. How do you think we recognize ourselves in the world out of this one? That was my question when I was a kid. I asked, <coughs> I'm going to recognize you. How are you going to look like there? Like, like a cloud? I thought we're going to look like clouds. Well, I was pretty close, actually. We're going to look <laughs> like energy. And we're not seeing this energy with physical eyes because we don't have those eyes in the world out of this. But those eyes see much more than our physical eyes. Physical eyes are here just in order to do what I described, to become, you know, physical uh, vessel for the source. Literally, that's it. When the creature is unconscious, in coma or something, we can see that that's what uh, I saw when the cat, uh, one of my cats, um, she was after operation, after surgery, she was unconscious, her body was like this, but her body was alive at this moment, but her consciousness was absent. I mean, yes, there was this little connection, so she was able to come back. But she didn't look like, you know, a life creature. I didn't see anything in her eyes. Her eyes was empty and she looked like dad. So dead body is just empty vessel. We recognize each other by unique flames. Unique flames. And it, it's, it's even more difficult to recognize 